Tonight, it's just me and my lady. This is Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Hit it. Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Uh, I've been sitting on this sample for quite a while, maybe a little bit too long. I mean, the wine is going to be great, but I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry for the producer, me having waited this long before I actually uh, got a chance to taste and review this wine, but I got a feeling it's going to be well worth it. Uh, this is a sample that was sent to me from uh, Castello di Amorosa. Uh, this is their 2012 La Castellana, which means the Lady of the Castle. Kind of reminds me of uh, the princess right there. Uh, so anyways, this is their, and, and by the way, if you've never been to the Napa Valley before and you're planning on going, you have to go to the castle. Um, Castello di Amorosa is a beautifully uh, reconstructed uh, Italian uh, castle that was done by the uh, folks, uh, the Satui family. So they own uh, V. Satui Vineyards. Uh, they also own uh, Castello di Amorosa. You've probably seen the castle on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette uh, a couple years ago. It's a really popular place to go. Um, and their wines are just getting better and better and better every time I get a chance to uh, taste these things. So I'm happy to taste this. Uh, this is their 2012. It was uh, 98 bucks. This is their version of a Super Tuscan. Uh, so it's got 76% Cabernet Sauvignon, 15% Sangiovese, and 9% Merlot. Um, so essentially we've got this Italian Sangiovese grape being blended with these uh, traditional uh, Bordeaux uh, grapes. So this should be very much a heavy hitter. I'm gonna be pairing this with a steak later on. Um, if you're on the blog right now, stayradwineblog.com, uh, just scroll down and you're going to see some pictures of my beautiful New York uh, steak with blue cheese and uh, a, a nice baked potato and some broccolini. I can smell it right now. I can't wait uh, to get into that. Uh, this is their 2012. Uh, currently, the 2013 is what's available. I will tell you that uh, this was a wine that they made that that was intended uh, to, to sit near a cellar for a while. So uh, it's nice to taste this one with a little bit of age here. So this was harvested five years ago. Um, so I'm excited to get into this. Uh, I will also point out uh, that this did come with a wax seal on the top. Uh, if you go up uh, in the blog and look at the uh, last episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV, you'll see me in this exact same shirt in this exact same position uh, showing you how I removed that wax seal. And it's nice and clean right here. I'm not expecting to get any wax uh, in my wine. It's definitely not in the bottle. Um, but man, let's just dive into this beautiful sample right here. All right, so uh, color-wise, we are getting this wonderfully uh, dark ruby red color. Um, getting into that like maroon, uh, almost uh, purple type of color. It's a, it's a pretty dense uh, color there. It does fade a little bit as we get out to the edges, which uh, is definitely an indicator uh, of a little bit of age on this. This was also aged for uh, 20 months in French oak. On the nose. <laughs> I love this. On the nose, there's that great, like, brambly, raspberry, blackberry thing that I just love so much. Um, I'm, I'm getting some uh, red currants there. A little bit of plum, a little bit of uh, cassis as well. I mean, this is this is very much screaming uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. You can you can smell that uh, seventy nine percent right there. Maybe a little bit of like a cherry uh, tone to it that may be coming in from that uh, Sangiovese and and you know 
the Merlots there, and that's typically going to be blended with a lot of uh, Napa uh, Cabernet Sauvignons. Um, I will say that they did harvest these grapes from uh, several spots around the Napa Valley, but they did uh, primarily uh, pull from the uh, Rutherford uh, AVA. And so on the palate, Nice. Um, there's these beautifully um, soft, approachable tannins um, that I, you know, the thing that's so fun about wine is how I can see that, you know, if any of you were tasting like barrel samples of this a couple years ago, um, I could see how you could sense like there were probably these overpowering tannins. They were probably a, a little bit of a, a aggressive, but they're definitely they're fading uh, over time, and this is this is aging nicely. And I can I can see how this is gonna soften up over the next, you know, another five, uh, ten years, and just reveal a lot of really beautiful stuff. Um, you know, this is a lot more like red fruits uh, on the palate, so more of that uh, red currant, more of that cassis, a little bit more of that raspberry, and a little bit more of that cherry. Um, that The tannins give it this really nice uh, mouthfeel. There's, there's um, a nice, like, green herbal note to this. Um, These nice high tone cherries. Um, this is this is really nice, um, and this is such a treat right here. I love the acidity to this. Um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I don't see many wines that I'm opening up these days that I'm not uh, going to be having with food. But I love that that acidity is there. I love that this is a bold wine you can definitely have with, you know, a nice steak or some. Um, or, or some lamb or something like that. But I can also see, gosh, like a, a nice uh, roast chicken with like a red sauce. I can see it going with duck. Uh, I can see it going with game hen. Like this is a, a really tasty wine. And like, honestly, if you just wanted to like, just be a baller on a Wednesday pizza uh, night, I mean, this, this would uh, go well with that as well. Um, I'm really stoked on this effort. Um, I, I really think that um, Brooks Painter and uh, Peter uh, Valeno did a great job crafting this wine. Uh, props to, to Dario Satui. You're running a, a, an excellent uh, program there, and I really appreciate, again, uh, being able to get this uh, sample uh, finally uh, tasted in, in front of y'all. Um, so, wow, this is awesome. Hey, um, you know, whew, in the meantime, you know, feel free to uh, subscribe to the uh, Stay Rab Wine Blog TV YouTube channel. You're probably watching it on YouTube right now, so go ahead and uh, click that button. Hit me up at uh, stayradwineblog.com. And don't forget to listen to me every Friday morning in your ears on the We Like Drinking podcast where you never drink alone. Uh, till next time, everybody, stay rad.